we're going to ride around. This is the Tanny Hill Campground. This is where we stayed this weekend. And we're just going to kind of show you the sites. This is the uh, general store where you check in. It's all decorated for Christmas. This is the uh, bathhouse right there. There's my honey. Hello. And uh, they actually have two campground areas. Well, three. Two of them are full hookups, and they run about $30 a night, and the third campground is power and water, and I'm not real sure, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm not real sure of the uh, rates on it. Somebody forgot to put their seatbelt on. Can you talk a little more for me? These are the sites. They're not paved sites. They're gravel sites. And some of them are not very level, I will tell you that. There's our little camper. Starcraft. Little Starcraft AR. And we love it. It did really well. And this is the bathhouse here. So we just part right across from it. They have wash and dryer hookups you can use. Um, Show the store. We had a... Uh, From a distance. There's the store. From a distance. <laughs> They have a creek right here that you can actually uh, back right up to and camp and they do have trout fishing in there. You can get a permit, a daily permit to fish in it. Rainbow like, trout. Yeah, it's like two dollars a day. Uh, It'll hold some pretty big rigs. That's a, that's a rig right across from us. They just got that camper. That was their first camper. And it's huge. That thing's got about four slides on it. But these are the sites right here. And that's the uh, creamery. You can get ice cream and some sweets in there. There used to be a restaurant here, and it burned, and they rebuilt it. And it's kind of an event center now that you can rent. Uh, our oldest daughter actually had her uh, wedding reception there. They have a little train that runs uh, through the park. And I don't know, it's just a few dollars to ride the train. And it goes up to the old grist mill area. And it's a lot of fun. Kids love it. We love it. We enjoy going on it. This is the other campground number two, and it's got the full hookups as well. So once again, somebody doesn't have their seatbelt fastened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is another uh, creek area here, and you can fish in it. It's really neat. And this bridge, once you cross it, you get into that campground number three and it has um, just power and water at it and it's got its own bathhouse over here as well and the bathhouses are really nice i'll include a couple of pictures uh, from inside of those they're really clean uh, and they got a keypad lock on it they'll give you a code whenever you check in and uh, a lot of this is uh, creekside camping but I will tell you on the other side of this there's some very unlevel spots so you'll have to do a lot of blocking up these are some of the old uh, KOA cabins that they bought when KOA went out of business here and they bought these and you can rent them and it's pretty much just glorified tent camping it's a bed and table and chairs uh, no restroom in these or 
anything. I think they've got a heater. I'm not sure. Uh, heat and air conditioning. Okay, they do. Okay. So, according to Debbie, they have heat and AC in them. They have a grill and table. Yep. They're Debbie and Keila. They're just living life. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, more of the primitive area. This is out close to the KOA cabin. They do have some side hookups as far as electric and water. So you can bring a camper over here. But uh, back there's like some tent camping and all of that. Now these are some of the campsites here on this far campground. And these are kind of some of the ones I was telling you, you're going to have to do a lot of blocking on some of these to get uh, to get level. Yeah, it's real pretty. Backs up to this hillside. Uh, we got uh, pictures yesterday of about 10 deer going up the hillside eating. So it's, it's real pretty, but uh, it's kind of a roll of the dice getting a pretty level side or not over here. There's your dump station. You don't have a full hookup. You have several dump stations here. This is coming across the bridge. As you can see, you got campsites right on the water on both sides of the creek. Like to fish or swim. A lot of people swim and tube in there during the uh, warm up. Now this is crossing the railroad tracks. You go up to the old grist mill and they have a forge up here. That a lot of times uh, the Alabama Forge Society, I think they call it, will be up here forging on the weekends. And it's pretty neat to watch. You can gather around and watch them do some forging. Uh, this is actually, the whole park is an old uh, Civil War foundry. And you can hike up to the ruins of the old forges up there that are huge, uh, several stories high. But you can go up there. We always kind of think of it as a, uh, it's kind of like you get the feel of being in the mountains. But for us, without the long drive, but it's real. Uh, yeah, there's sidewalk over there. So you, instead of drive, instead of driving up here to the mill, uh, you can walk. They have a paved walking trail, and you can ride the train. It'll drop you off up here, and that's where you'll get off. And then you can walk over to the grist mill from there, and to the forge. Uh, it's just a short walk. You'll cross another bridge. And uh, you can fish up here, lots of the rainbow trout up here. And I'll show you that in just a minute. This is actually a rental cabin that you can rent. And then it's right next to the forge there. And there's a little kind of a village back there that's got some neat old buildings. They're back there today. Yeah, it looks like they're forging, they're getting ready to do some forging today. And it's got a little footbridge, and then it's got the vehicle bridge. And there's the old grist mill, and they do uh, grind uh, cornmeal and all there. To this day, you can buy it in the general store. And there's the stream, beautiful stream. Got a little waterfall back there. Lots of trout. There's a lot of trout. Yeah, you can swim. It's just really cold. And, and this is the old uh, kind of the uh, grounds where they have a flea market. I think it's the third weekend during the season. Uh, trade days. Uh, trade days. Yeah, I'll give you. A, I'll get you a shot of this sign right here. Trade day schedule. They've got several pavilions that you can rent also on this side of the bridge and also over in the uh, parking area, the camper area. 
So during trade days, a lot of this area will be uh, covered with vendors and all of this will be filled with parking over here. And they do have a bathroom here on uh, both ends and uh, pavilions and stuff down here as well. They've also got lots of pavilions over here on the campground uh, in various locations throughout the park where you can rent them for uh, class reunions, family reunions, just any kind of uh, large group gatherings. You can rent these areas. So here's some of the rental cabins we're going to show you through here. Also, they have a very nice museum that's uh, full of like the Civil War uh, artifacts, um, items that they used to forge here at the foundry back years ago. that they've added and these are like all of them except for one are like authentic like from 1800s they've added heat and air conditioning and stuff like that they have bathrooms in them very nice little cabins and i think they're about a hundred dollars a night and this is they the stay bu booked up a lot and this is one we rent a lot this is it's the called the uh stewart cabin and it's an old dog trot it's open in the middle, and that's really way cool. This is what's called the old schoolhouse, and that's actually where uh, my wood carving club meets the second Saturday of every month. And then you go up what we call the mountain, and at the very top of this, this is the highest point, is a uh, the neatest thing and this is the old church house and they still have Sunday services here mm -hmm. at nine o'clock and you can come and uh, everybody's welcome and just you talk about old-fashioned services they have a piano in there and that's it mm -hmm. and uh, they got some really good preachers that preach here just beautiful up here and uh, again our oldest daughter got married here this is kind of the view leaving here and you can see this it's pretty steep we love it up here so that's pretty much the uh, Tanny Hill campground uh, we love it here it's like being in the mountains like I said but without the drive uh, very nice facilities uh, what do you think huh? I think it's just beautiful here. This is just like coming home to us. And especially in the warm seasons, there's a lot more to do. The craft cabins are open more frequently. Lots and lots of people here. We love it when it's not very crowded, but we love it when it is crowded too, because you get to meet so many people. Right. And we love the church. It's just been a blessing every time we've been up here to it. So. Also, the campground in October, you really ought to come see it in October. Yes. These people spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their campsites decorating this thing for Halloween. It's unbelievable. And it's incredible to drive through it and see it. And you can even go on Halloween night, drive through with your kids, and they've got candy, and they're giving candy out to you that are driving through the campground. So if you guys get a chance, come check out Tanny Hill Park. Even if you're not camping just for a day trip, this is a fantastic place. Perfect. Uh, there are all kind of stuff to do, fishing, hiking. Uh, they've got equestrian trails. So y'all come check it out. Fun and educational. Absolutely. I'm Daddy-O. And I'm Debbie. And we're living, living life. life.